it's always difficult when you're new at something trying to figure everything out today we're going to help you on your way a bit with some tips and tricks uh, to make your rv life easier so stay tuned Welcome back to Home on the Hitch. My name is Thomas. My wife is Melissa. If this is your first time here, thank you for showing up. Welcome. Uh, if you're coming back for another video, thanks for coming back. Everybody hit that subscribe button if you don't mind and hit the like. That helps us a great deal. All right, so the biggest problem with picking anything up, uh, including being a new RVer, is that you haven't figured out all the ins and outs or the little hacks, the little things you can do to make your life easier. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna give you 10 uh, tips and hacks for the RV beginner, all right? This is gonna make your life a lot easier and get you on the road to being a happy camper. All right, guys, tip number one, that's gonna be command strips. Command strips are going to be your best friend. They are the best thing since sliced bread for the RVer. Just ask my wife, she loves those things. Good thing is they come in all types of varieties, hooks, uh, light hangers, adhesive for uh, hanging up pictures or all kinds of things on the wall. Uh, you can find them at any big box store. There's no drilling. You don't have to drill it to the wall of your camper, especially if you're new. You don't know where you want to put all this stuff at. You don't want to be drilling a bunch of holes all over your camper when you put something there and you don't like it. Well, if you don't like it and you mount it with a command strip, take it down, move it somewhere else. All right, so tip number two. Tip number two is going to be duct tape, clothespins, and bungee cords. Always good to keep those things on hand. You don't never ever know until you get started uh, what you may need to bungee cord together inside of the RV on moving day or in the back of the truck. Um, if you have a piece of chloroplast or something comes loose underneath the, the, the RV, duct tape's a great way to fix it. You can fix a whole bunch of things with duct tape. Clothespins, you can use command strips and mount those on the wall and use them to hold mail or letters or, or, or all kinds of stuff, as well as chip clips or, or things like that if you need them. So always keep duct tape, bungee cords, and clothespins on hand. That's tip number two. All right, guys, so tip number three, you're gonna take a pizza stone, uh, square or round, doesn't matter. You're gonna put that in the bottom rack of your oven, your propane RV oven, uh, and leave that in there. What that's gonna do is it's gonna absorb the heat and evenly disperse it, or more evenly disperse it, uh, to make cooking easier in your RV propane oven because it is not the easiest thing. It's not like residential. Uh, don't be worried if the pizza stone cracks because it probably is going to. Uh, it will still work fine, just leave it in there. Uh, and that will help you to evenly cook your food. Tip number cuatro. That's gonna be dry erase board. So buy a small dry erase board. Um, you can either get one that's magnetic and put it on your refrigerator, or in case it's not magnetic, you can mount it on the wall with command strips. Uh, it's a good thing to keep next to the door if you can. Uh, just to jot notes down on, things you need at the store, uh, setup tasks that you don't want to forget, uh, camp breakdown tasks that you don't want to forget, like putting your TV antenna down, just reminders, uh, great thing to have. And when you're done with them, you can check them off or erase them. So make sure you get a dry erase board. All right, so tip number five. Tip number five is kind of along the same lines as tip number four, uh, but grab some type of mail or, sorry, sorry guys, hold on a second. Yeah, I will. they're always bothering me. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right, so tip number five, get some type of mail holder uh, key hanger uh, to command strip, tip number one, up on the wall. Um, so you have a central place to put your keys, but more importantly, or as important, all those papers that you get uh, from the campgrounds when you check in, as the local emergency numbers or water departments, hospital directions, 
all those things keep those together with uh, a clip uh, probably a clothespin uh, and keep them in that organizer that way if something happens god forbid you're not running around looking for those papers uh, so you can get them big small all kinds of designs but yeah that's a great idea to keep everything organized and give you a central place for the papers and for your keys so i'd like to point out that none of these are really in order of importance uh, some are going to be more important to others but i guarantee you that if you are a beginning RVer and you've just purchased your first RV, tip number six you are shortly going to find out is going to be your biggest priority right away. And that is going to be upgrading your mattress. Uh, whether that is a upgraded mattress itself or uh, some type of nice thick memory foam uh, topper. It's really going to depend upon uh, what type of RV mattress that you have uh, in your rig. But RV mattresses, I don't care if they're upgraded RV mattresses from the dealer, are not comfortable. So tip number six, and you'll figure this out after your first couple of nights camping on that stock mattress, go to the store and get a mattress stopper. Upgrade your mattress. All right, I think that's uh, now we're to number seven. Uh, invest in a tire pressure monitoring system if you are towing an RV. If you're towing a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, make sure you invest in a tire pressure monitoring system. A trailer tire can go flat or have a blowout before you know what's going on and cause thousands of dollars of damage to your rig. Um, if you don't already have one, then you need to get online and research, figure out one, which one's best for you uh, and go ahead and make that investment because it's an investment uh, in your safety and peace of mind. Uh, you want to check the link uh, in the description below. You can go to Innovation Tire uh, and check out our favorite um, TPMS. And if you choose to buy from them, uh, you can use our code HOTH2021 and get 20 bucks off of an RV uh, TPMS system. But Tip number eight uh, helps out in a lot of different ways. So check out these outdoor solar lights uh, we you can get these things in all kinds of shapes and sizes uh, small square rectangle but these are kind of the ones that we use we mount them with command and 3m velcro on the outside of our rv we have uh, a couple of them mounted by the the door uh, we have one on the back we have a couple on the other side of the rv they charge up during the day by solar power and at night you can either you can have them set to come on uh, or you can have them set for motion having them by the front door is really cool because when you walk up uh, you know if you're in a dark campground or you're boondocking or something like that then it lights up the entire area around the front the steps uh, so you don't trip and fall uh, and you can see what you're doing number nine uh, flex seal tape you can make a screen door boat well, maybe you can. I don't know. If you do that, let me know. See if tell me if it works. I tell you what it does do. Uh, it's great for sealing leaks uh, on some low pressure pipes or on the roof of your RV. If you happen to go under a low hanging branch, uh, something like that, and rip a hole in the top of your RV. If you've got this flex seal tape or butyl tape, comes in different brands. You can take a piece of that and quickly fix uh, a tear in the roof or in the underbelly uh, or in the side of the RV or around a um, skylight. You can fix a leak in the rain. So make sure you have some of this on hand. You can get different widths. So get a couple of different widths and keep that in the drawer. Last one, tip number 10. That's gonna be to make sure you change out your shower head. The shower heads that come in these unit stock is horrible. Um, the pressure is horrible. The spray pattern is horrible. Oxygenics makes a really good shower head. Uh, so make sure you check them out. You can get those uh, in most of the big box stores. Or you can go the route we did. We changed ours to a shower tower. And I'll put a link up or a card up for the, our video. And we absolutely love that thing. It has massage jets, rain shower, all the great things. Uh, so 
it's not that expensive to do really and we absolutely love it all right looks like my bride has returned so i'm gonna get in the house hope you guys enjoyed the video uh make sure you check out our channel check out our other videos uh got some good stuff out there lots of tips and tricks and great spots to go rv in so uh, hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up we'll see you next time take care of each other love each other make every moment count see you next time guys